Okay, just a quick one to answer another question on Reddit. Nobody ever listens to me there, but I do love hanging around Blender Help on Reddit. Okay, so you want to make this kind of knob thing, so I can show you a fairly quick way to do that. If we delete the default cube, I'm going to press Shift and A to add a mesh circle and give it 48 vertices. I'm going to tab into edit mode and, and press 1 to make sure I'm in point select mode and select this vertice on the green y-axis. Then I'm going to alt and click that same vertex to make sure the whole loop is selected with that vertex in white. Now go to select, check a deselect and change the properties down here to 3 deselected, 1 selected and negative 1 for the offset. You always need that. Now in the 3D view press Control, Shift and B and type 0.15 and hit enter. Now alt and click to select the whole loop and press E to extrude it up in Z by one unit, so E, Z, one and enter. Now on the top loop choose one of the single vertices which lies exactly between the kind of groups of threes that are all around the top. Alt and click that vertex to select the entire loop so that again this vertex is white. Now go to select Check a deselect again and change the deselected number this time to 5. Now turn on proportional editing and change the type to sphere. Press S to scale them all in and roll the mouse until the three vertices that are together don't move. You can now position the others to create kind of the curve you want to see. Now I'm going to move down to the bottom loop and I'll click one of the vertices in the middle of one of the kind of groups of three vertices. Again, that one should be white. Now choose Select, check it Deselect again, and it'll choose the vertices correctly that we need based on the last settings we used. Now this time I want to change the proportional editing type to Sharp, and press G and Z to move these vertices up, creating a curve at the bottom, and just left click when you're happy with it. Now Alt and click on anything on the bottom loop to select the whole thing, and move it up in Z by pressing G and Z to around here. Now press E to extrude this loop, press Z to use the Z axis and move it down. Now press S to scale, Z to constrain that to the Z axis and type 0 and hit enter. Now alt and click the top loop to select it, press E to extrude, then S to scale and move it in a bit. Press E to extrude again and S to scale again and move it in a little further. Now over in loop tools which is in the edit tab on the end panel, choose circle from loop tools to make it a circle. At this point we're going to need to recalculate the normals, so press A to select everything and then just press Shift and N, which does that for us. Now alt and click this top loop of the bumped area. Press Ctrl and B and type 0.2. Roll the mouse wheel until there are exactly three loops. Now alt and click the curved bottom loop. Press Ctrl and B again and type 0.1. And again, make sure there are exactly three loops. Now we have these ridges down the side and to get rid of those we need to space the vertices of the bottom loop out evenly, which I'll get rid of that. So alt and click on the bottom loop to select the whole thing and then over in loop tools press the circle tool. Now sometimes it does strange things with the angle it has here and because it does this sometimes you need to change the angle in the properties panel over here until everything is kind of straight up and down. I change mine to 4. Now press E to extrude this loop, press Z to move it down and just move it down a bit. I don't know what you want to do with it after that, so I'll leave the bottom just like that. Now tab into edit mode, I'm just going to right click and choose shade smooth, and then I'm going to press S and Z and scale the whole object kind of up and down until you like the shape of the grooves around the top. Now press Ctrl and A and apply the new scale. Okay, now tab back into edit mode and you may or may not want to do this part. I think it just adds a little more interesting curvature inside the grooves. Press Ctrl and R to add a loop right in the middle of the grooves and left click and right click. Now because we can't see the vertices, I'm going to turn on the edit switch in the subdivision surface modifier and alt and click on one of the vertices right in the middle. I'm going to use select, check or deselect again. It'll choose the right points. And now I'm going to change the transform pivot point up here to individual origins. We're going to scale these points, but we don't actually want them to move or get bigger. We want the points around them to move and get bigger. And that's what this does when proportional editing is turned on. So now press S to scale and roll the mouse wheel until only the two points to either side of this one start to move when you move your mouse. Scale them out a little this way and that's done. Now for the top I think it was kind of a little handle thing so I'm just going to quickly make that by extruding, scaling and moving the loops. I 
And then when I get to this stage, I'm just going to close everything off with a grid fill. Good, that's pretty much done. I'm going to tab to object mode. And I normally like to test that things won't break when I make an object. So I'm going to add a quick, simple deform modifier. I'm going to choose bend and X and just move it around just to make sure the topology is good. You can always play with a few of the numbers I used if you want a different effect, but uh, that's done. Great, I hope that helped.